Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, what I'm about to show here is the unleash or uh, birth or reveal, I guess, of uh, Go Native. A lot of people saw it yesterday at my at the Herberger Institute's um, showcase, but I'm gonna go ahead and first I'm gonna talk you through exactly what this idea was and if you're seeing it's just either on the web page or on the YouTube channel so I'm gonna explain to you and, and best I can you know how this idea or this game works so what I decided to go what I decided to do was build a video game or educational program that teaches people foreign languages now I know you're like oh Rosetta Stone, Dolingo, no it, it's not it's not any of them um, it's uh, scenario based so where Rosetta Stone and the lingo will start you out with basics or just throw you in hot water and throw you in deep end uh, this will basically utilize what is considered the Pimsleur method and full immersion because once I start the game up and go into scene you will be in a 3d environment now this is also uh, as you see over here it is also optimized for the oculus I don't have the oculus hooked up to it right now but it's optimized for it and ready to go so we're gonna hit play right here so basically what this game does I have the, the music well I had it muted so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn it down All right. I'm gonna turn this music down and the effects so you can actually hear me talk alright so basically what this game does is it allows you to interact in an environment and the language of choice now is Chinese so well Mandarin so when you interact with the chair you see the Chinese characters for the name of the chair here let's check the table ah table name Bao. and oh we can check the coffee too coffee so there we have the names of the objects inside of the scene oh we have over here a beer so we have the name Pijol so we have the name of the objects in the scene so by recreating a scene in a, at a certain place at a certain like a certain time it allows uh, the person to come into this area and practice learning either just the basic things in the scene and getting used to like like later on we'll have cultural cues and things like say like if you're Japanese when you're when you're saying I'm sorry or Samima san or something like that Hajime Master and those are your those cues you can you would basically bow and things like that so adding cultural aspects to this is really important but this is like I said it's meant to be a scene from uh, from China basically but like I said it's basically a uh, prototype just to get it just to kind of show off what the idea is so the idea is scenario based only in this one area so we can't go outside well eventually I can make it so you can go outside but it's important so if you're traveling like a business traveler and you decide hey I wanna I'm gonna go into this cafe you know but and you've done a scenario similar to the cafe then you would know how to come in and ask for things and interact with people see how are you today then you can interact down here I am fine and like I said it has both the it has both the Chinese and the Mandarin and the and the English so you can get used to seeing it and later on very soon I will be implementing actual voice files oops knock that over I'll be implementing actual voice files so that way you're able to go in and hear exactly what they're saying so back here we have bathrooms and things like that but that's uh, pretty much the basics of the program um, any questions or anything like that drop me a note in the comments but here you have it this is go native the full immersion language learning program